COVID came, it confronted our cultural practice because we wanted to survive and thrive, and we let that go. So it is important that we appreciate what we want. If sustainable socioeconomic development is our goal, and child marriage is in the way, then we have to find a way to confront it. Child marriage is not a bad thing. It was actually supposed to protect the child against a sexual exploitation. That was what child marriage was for. And so the parents gave the children off early in marriage so that there's protection. Now education is the protection. So how do we confront this exercise that was good then, which is not serving us now? We have to know what is serving us and what to let go. Formerly, when you married and you were very big, you had a big stomach, it means your husband was taking care of you very well. So they started dropping dead, and we saw that it was not good, and so we started exercising. So the most important thing is, what do we want? And what should we let go? We have data, we have research to, to now guide us what to eat, how to sleep, what to do what. And population and fertility also has a science to it. And so if we want the best, then we should let go of certain things so that we can get others. It is not necessary the number of children, but how well you take care of them. The, 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 what nations need is not ignorant and natural resources. In the 18th century, we had ignorant and natural resources, and mortality rates were very high, and life expectancy was very low. The natural resources were there, but because the people were illiterate. We started mining the natural resources with knowledge. So knowledge is really what we need. So how many people can you uh, invest to harness your natural resource? That is the question. Mindful of the fact that time is an indispensable resource. So the time you use to give birth, you cannot use that same time to work. That is very important. Now the second question on abortion, my concern. You know, I do not shy away from saying I'm a Catholic. And I, I, I think family planning is the way to go. Because as a woman, as I stand, no woman will want to get pregnant like want the baby and go and abort it. It is women or pregnancies that are unintended, that are not wanted, that are aborted. Let the women bear me out here. Am I speaking the right thing? Yes, so if we prevent the pregnancies that we do not want, abortions will reduce. That is why I focus on family planning. You cannot plan a nation if you do not plan the family because the nation it's a sum total of the families. So if the families are not saving, the nation cannot save. That is not rocket science. So family planning is not just for the family, but it's actually for national development. That is why even in the US Affordable Care Act, they provide free family planning and maternal services for all women in a capitalist society because they know the impact of unwanted and unintended pregnancies. And so yes, abortions, but if we focus on family planning, I tell you abortions will reduce because women are not stupid. They will not get pregnant, love the baby, and go and abort. You will only abort when there's a need that has not been met by the state. So the culture giving birth to many children you know, you always have to know history. History guides us. Yes, we were giving birth to many children. If I tell you the number of siblings I have, it will take away from what we are doing, so I will not. <laughs> but we were giving birth to many children because mothers want children to survive and thrive. And we did not have a lot of vaccines, so mortalities were very high. And so for me to continue to have children, the, the, the wisest thing to do is to keep producing them. Now children survive but are not thriving because of that same issue, many children. So we have to learn to change. The Bible tells us that change is the only constant. It's only God who doesn't change, but we have to change. So we have to change with the changing times, focusing on what we want. If quality of life and sustainable socioeconomic development is what we want, 
they will have to change. You know, Europe is solving its problem by skilled migration. That is why nobody wins the lottery illiterates. Illiterates do not win the lottery. That is a fact. So that is their population policy. In addition to encouraging the women to have more children, that's a long term and at times a bit difficult. And so they find ways. So how are we solving our problems also? So cultural norms. In the 21st century, we have to decide which cultural norms to go with and which to let go. That is a decision we have to take. And if surviving and thriving is what we want, then child marriage has no place in that. Child marriage has no place. In my statement, I made mention of automation by the year 2030, half of them. Child marriage keeps you illiterate. Child marriage keeps you disadvantaged. So why would we want to keep our children disadvantaged? Now when you go to the airport, there's even nobody. You keep keying the things yourself. Why do we want to keep our children disadvantaged and ignorant? The issue of contraceptives encouraging. You see, we all fear what we do not know. When COVID came, we all hid in our bunkers and stayed there because we did not know COVID. We did not know how COVID would span out, churn out. Knowledge is what takes away fear and ignorance. There's a lot of things we do not know about contraceptives, the positive side. Do you know that education also has a negative side? There are people who have gone to school and gone mad, and so we are not going to learn again. There are people who have stepped out of their homes, we have come here, and hopefully go back, and will never get back because they were involved in an accident, so they will not drive a car again. So the family planning has, has, has advantages. You know, what family planning does is what the farmers do also. It keeps you in such a way that you give birth at your healthiest. That is what family planning does. And farmers farm at the best season for the good yield because their issue is not just to grow something that will not yield, but the outcome, a good yield. So a good, healthy baby is the outcome of any pregnancy. Child marriage does not give you that. We did not know then. Now the sciences we cannot run away from. As the country rep said, we have to learn and take best practices and use data to direct us, to inform whatever we do. I think I have answered all for now. Let me make a statement. You know, the data I gave 